Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That right there, that was Evanix. And they're feeling the pressure from the competition. They want something more powerful. They want something bigger. Can you guys help? Thanks a lot, man. My audience always says you guys are the best. And even though I shoot you guys, I do agree with them. Thank you, man. This is bigger. Wow, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, I finally give you South Korean brand Evanix's brand new, upgraded, bigger version of the Viper. The Viper 30 caliber. Now, before going forward and talking about this PCP pistol, let's see very quick how well this gun does going through four Baltic birch half-inch plywood boards put in a row. Well, folks, quite honestly, I was expecting a bit more uh, from this first plywood test. We did a good number on the first uh, half-inch plywood board. Um, we then went to dent the second one. One, two, three, four, five. So all five pellets went to dent the second one, but did not go through whatsoever in any way. So the Viper 30 caliber and the Viper X, which I've yet to shoot, seem to be Evanix's quick response to a growing market of fierce competition. As many of you know, right after the release of the 25 caliber version, Hong Kong brand Huben released the GK1, which, as you know, stole this gun's thunder. So here we are, finally testing Evanix's bigger 30 caliber version. There aren't many physical differences with the 25 cal version other than the very important one that the pressure gauge was finally moved to the side and is no longer under the barrel. Um, the safety switch is as always here on the left and just like the 25 cal version also this gun comes with a moderator which makes it extremely backyard friendly. Among with the two standard magazines, this one also comes with this very cool double magazine. And unlike the six shot mag of the 25 caliber, the 30 cal holds five shots. Today, we'll be shooting these 44.75 grain JSB Hades Diablo. And the Evanix magazines are, in my opinion, among the best in the air gun industry. So easy to load. As always, a big huge thank you to Clear Ballistics for providing today's ballistic gel target. Clear Ballistics makes targets in all shapes and forms, so do go check them out. Today, we'll shoot into this 10% ballistic gel rabbit.
All right, let's see how deep we went into our 10% ballistic gel rabbit. Um, pretty deep, I have to say. Now this one right here looks like the pellet that traveled the furthest, 10 and a half inches, exactly 10 and a half inches. Um, the ones that traveled the least went in about five inches. Now there's this one that went through, right through the nose, and that's just about 10 inches. So again, pretty satisfied with the penetration in, a 10, in this 10% ballistic gel. Now, while we're in the Evanex family, well my friends, stay tuned, because up next we'll be looking at the solid, reliable, accurate Evanex Max Air 300. This rifle looks awesome and it was kindly sent to us none other than from the famous people over at Go Gun. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. This one will be out next. Time to check the accuracy on this thing. As you see, there's a nice Picatinny rail that runs all along or above the receiver, uh, but it also has two very nice pronounced uh, fixed sights. So I'm gonna be only shooting with the fixed sights from about 27 feet onto our target. And let's see how I do. Free-handed from almost 30 feet. All right, folks, so from 30 feet, a little over 10 yards, I could have done better, but there's absolutely no group. Did hit the target. One, two, three, four. I don't know where the fifth one went. Well, here we have a better group. One, two, three, four, and five. Um, yeah, again, I've seen better, but for the very first time shooting this gun, this is the result I got. All right, number lovers, it is time to check out the speed of the pellets in feet per second through our chronograph to then uh, calculate the joules power and foot pound energy. I'm going to shoot two rounds, so 10 shots total. Right now, our gauge is at, at max capacity at 250 bar. Let's see after these 10 shots how much air we used. Let's check out the penetration on these two and a half gallon uh, recycled plastic water jugs that we put behind the chronograph. All pellets entered the first one. Did a nice number on the exit. Into the, the second one. Out of the second one. And oh, look at that. Only one made it into the third. So this gun will go through two two and a half gallon plastic water jugs. All right, so after 10 shots, we are down to about a little over 100 bar. Um, so we are almost at the limit to where we need to refill. So I would probably keep it at two magazines, maybe two and a couple extra shots uh, on a full tank. And talking about air consumption, 
In a video that I filmed four months ago, I had promised that we'd see the air conservation of this gun, the Viper 25 caliber, while stored over time. Well guys, I haven't touched it in four months after filling it up to 250 bar, and well, the needle hasn't moved a millimeter. So I would say, so far, so good. So let me know what you thought about the new Viper 30 caliber. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you did indeed like this video and for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you guys at the next one.